Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppers. Today, checking out some more Cellar Maker beer that I picked up on Beer Republic, a web shop that I'm not working with or anything. I just wanted to mention it because people are sometimes curious where I get some beers. And especially with these West Coast IPAs, I want to spread the love of the West Coast so that people in Europe can get to try some. Uh, Cellar Maker is a brewery that's really known for the West Coast IPAs. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed their collab with Rip and Ghost Town, the Lupulin Disorder or something. That was really good with the Steamboat Willie artwork. This though is one of their original hype beers, I guess, one of the beers that really put them on the map. And I'm really looking forward to be trying it because I never tried it. This is none other than Cellar Maker's Double Dobus. So this is their tribute to Citra Hops, and it's a hazy West Coast IPA, or West Coast Double IPA. So that's something they've been doing for a while now, making hazy West Coast IPAs, where they use a hazy Chico yeast. It's not like filled with esters or in all this. They use a hazy a Chico yeast, which is American ale yeast, that's clean and usually what you use in West Coast IPA, but this is just one that makes the beer hazy. And then they load this up with citra hops and it features uh, both cryo citra, this specific batch here, cryo citra from Giacomo Chief and citra hops, so hop, lots of selected, selected citra hops from Bat Haas, I think it was. So they, it's apparently also had a, a hiatus. I didn't know that, but it's been away for a bit, but now it's back. The only thing is like this was packaged on the 28th of February, I think. So it's not the freshest can. It's a bit of a shame, but again, the others have held up really well. So this is like, Epoin, Mats, uh, Mats, Epoin, my, yeah, we're three months and a few weeks in. So not four weeks yet, but man, this is, uh, <laughs> that's how it is. You know, sometimes with imports, especially if it's not like cold shipped on a plane, if it's on a container ship, sometimes that's what happens with importing. Like the best way to get beer really fresh is try to trade yourself and get it over or um, go to the breweries. And I've been to the South America actually quite a few years back. I actually have a video from there, which was great. Maybe I tried this there. I can't remember actually what I tried, but it was awesome going to the brewery in, in San Francisco. Oakland, are they in Oakland or are they in San Francisco? I think it's in Oakland, isn't it? Yes, it is in Oakland. So, which is also where Ghost Town is based. I guess Ghost Town was around when I was there, maybe. 18 was the time I was last there. I think Ghost Town was around. I just didn't know them, too bad. Um, but yeah, let's take this one out. So Poor's, what do you think is a hazy IPA? Like very bright yellow, slightly orange hued, hazy looking. I mean, this looks like it's gonna be a juice bomb. <laughs> Whitehead on this one. Let's check out Double Dubbus. Very, very, very mango, pineapple like heavy. It's, I don't know if it's just the looks, but it smells quite like juicy. <laughs> juicy and fruity. I'm guessing maybe they use, like, they say a Chico yeast. They don't say neutral yeast. So could be like a hazy. Chico that does produce a bit of sweetness and fruitiness from like some esters, but because there's definitely like what I so associate with hazy IPAs in here, like juicy, overripe kind of nuances, loads like pineapple, maybe a bit of pineapple kush, like pineapple and mango really shine on this. Also some sweet citrus, maybe even like stone fruit, but it's heavy on, on, on mango and pineapple. I mean, it, for it being three some week, three months and some weeks old, it's still it's not quite all right. So let's try it, cheers. So when you try it, you immediately sense like, this is not like your average hazy IPA because it's drier and it's bitter. <laughs> so that's, I guess why they're calling these hazy West Coast. Um, because it is drying and it's got a nice bitter punch, but it definitely feels a lot like hazy juice bomby beer. I don't know if they always call these hazy West Coast IPAs or how it was. Uh, there was a big thing when haze was coming, you're know, getting really popular. People in the West Coast were like, well, Alpine uh, Nelson was hazy already. And people were also talking about Cellar Maker making hazy West Coast beers. Um, that were not like all juicy, gushing fruit bombs. They also had some, you know, bitterness to them. 
But that, that's what you get in this. It's actually got a nice kind of fluffy mouthfeel, but it dries out really quickly with a drying bitter edge and like, dry, like drying bitter pineapple-y, almost slightly drying grapefruity vibe or something like that, but mostly like pineapple and mango. And it's like a little bit like cooked pineapple or something. It's very much like bitter juicy beer. It's not like, it doesn't have like those like bright pineapple kush, um, like crazy weed like aromas that you get in a lot of like more modern West Coast IPAs. But I'm wondering if that's the age or if that's just because they're using this yeast and it's a hazy West Coast IPA. So it's just like, it becomes a little bit more like juicy, sweet, sweeter tasting than like, like more modern, like pin bright pale, kind of like their collab with like Rip, where it's like really weed like and dank and whatnot. Like this is still really good. And I'm sure like dead fresh, this is freaking fire. But like, I'm, I'm not as stoked on it as I thought I'd be, but I really think that's because of the age. Like, I'm pretty sure that's exactly why, because it's just not like almost four months in the can. That's a long time, I think, for an IPA. But it's nice, it's really good. It's really good beer. And also like, actually a little bit like a pineapple uh, starburst or something like saltwater taffy or something like that. There's a little bit of a candy chewy kind of pineapple thing, but it's nice. Um, I think I'm on a straight 90 on this one. I think it's nice but I'm just not like super fired up. It's, I, I think I was expecting just a beer to look hazy and taste exactly like a West Coast IPA. Um, kind of like with black IPAs that are really good, like they're black, but they taste like just an IPA that's black. It's not like heavy roast flavors and whatnot. Um, so it's like, it's definitely something in between a West Coast IPA and a hazy IPA or New England IPA, but it's nice. Like if you're, Scared off West Coast IPAs. This is a great introduction because if you're loving hazy IPAs, drinking this, it's going to be a little bit more bitter and have a little bit more edge, some pine and all that than your classic uh, hazy IPA. So I think it's an easier transition into it if you want to explore West Coast IPAs. But I think like most people will really enjoy, especially the modern West Coast IPAs where there's this big focus on the brightness and fruitiness of hops. Like you can sense like if this was a dead fresh can, it would be definitely maybe 93.4 range or something like that. Like it's just because it's lacking that powerful like pwah that you expect from IPAs. It's just like still quite potent, but it's just you can feel that age on it. Although it's not like tasting oxidized or anything, it's just like the potency of hops is just dumbed down a bit. But I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. It's just, I saw those beers, it's like, I gotta check them out. And I still think they're worth a shot. And then just keep in mind, like when you try these, they're not like the freshest, but please try some West Coast beer. Try some West Coast IPA, even if it's easy. Drink some Cellar Maker, awesome beers. We need more West Coast IPA in Europe. So. If you guys have a chance to try Cellar Maker's Double Adobus, 100% Citra Hopped Hazy West Coast Double IPA, 8.5%, 8.2%. I think I failed to mention that, but really nice stuff still, considering the age. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up, you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I'm going to say cheers and see you guys in another beer review.